Welcome back to another life skills video. Today we will be going over how to wash clothes. Washing clothes can be a very daunting but delicate process. When it comes to washing clothes, you want to make sure to separate your whites from your colors. Additionally, you want to separate your light colors from your dark colors. This reduces the chance of your clothes colors bleeding into each other. Secondarily, heavily soiled linen, such as towels and bed sheets, should also be washed separately from regular clothes. With your clothes and linen separated out, you can start loading your washing machine. It's best not to overfill your washing machine, as overfilling it would not clean your clothes very properly. Once you get all the clothes in, the next step is to put in the laundry detergent for your clothes. Each laundry detergent, if you're not getting anything like Tide Pods, comes with a filling cup. Each filling cup comes with cup lines for you to fill to gauge how much to put in compared to the amount of clothes you've put in. The lowest number should be considered the amount that you should use for smaller loads, whereas the highest number would be put in towards larger loads or loads that are more soiled like bed sheets or towels. Once you have your laundry detergent put into the washing machine, you'll want to set the water level, the spin speed, the water temperature, as well as the cycle treatment. As a rule of thumb, soft or easily torn clothes should be put under delicates. White clothes, towels, and sheets should be put under hot water, while colored clothes should normally be washed under cold water. Then you would go ahead and start the cycle. Each cycle takes about 30 to 45 minutes, depending on how old or the type of washing machine you have. After the washing machine is finished, you'll go ahead and start prepping them to go into the dryer. Before you start putting the clothes in the dryer, you do want to make sure that the lint filter is cleaned out. That ensures that the clothes dry properly and that the dryer does not get overheated. Once you put the lint filter back into the dryer, you can start putting your wet clothes into the dryer. It is a good idea to put dryer sheets into the dryer with your clothes. This will prevent electrostatic shocks when you take your clothes out of the dryer. And it also helps with making sure that your clothes smell fresh when you pull them out. There also is a such thing as burning your clothes, so you want to make sure not to overheat them when they're in the dryer. Once your clothes have finished drying, you are prepared to take them out organize them and fold them as you see fit and that will be next week's episode for life skills all right and that has been this week's episode of life skills we went over how to wash clothes please stay tuned for next week's episode on how to fold clothes if you want to catch last week's video go ahead and please click on the link to the left if you want to check out the entire life skills playlist go ahead and click on the right please like and subscribe and i will see you on the next video